Good morning, everyone. San Joaquin News Network here. I want to say something real quick. My channel was created so that I can spread awareness for uh, police corruption and helping people understand their human rights and how they're constantly being violated by law enforcement and stuff like that. So I started doing my own recordings and I decided that I wanted to help other people because I knew that smaller channels needed a shout out. Some of the bigger channels just seemed like they just wanted to help themselves and not really give other channels that had potential um, uh, shine the spotlight on them. And I realized that this is what needed to be done. Even if channels had more potential to pass my channel, I realized it needed to be done. Um, I also want to say that when I decided to help other channels, I knew that I wanted to really send you guys over there to these channels, not just take their video, post it on my channel, not even post their link or even give them some, a piece of my mind. You know, with my words, I, I've i always done my best to help the other person, not just take their video and post it on my channel, not even post a link or give them a shout out. I think that's just pure greed and uh, I don't do that. I don't think anybody else should. And if you see channels out there that post channels, videos that don't, give them a shout out that don't post their links in the description and in the comment section. Sometimes I miss that, so I'm guilty of it myself. I don't want to be a hypocrite, but um, let's start doing this the right way. How about we not just be greedy and just take that AdSense revenue and fill up our pockets? How about we actually do something and we actually send people over to these channels? Disorderly Product News gave me a shout out the other day and I was I just happened to hop on and they're talking about me in a good way, saying the same thing that I just mentioned today. I'm going to put Disorderly Products link in the description as well. Check out this video from Southwest Florida Oath Accountability Project. He reached out to me. He wanted me to share this video, so I'm going to do that. And like I said, thank you guys all for the support you guys give me and all the other channels that I promote. I will continue to do so. And uh, thank you guys so much. No, no, it's no parking. Or it's either no parking or a speed limit. Because I got in trouble in elementary school for laughing at my friend in class when he couldn't read, I'm going to read this for you guys. We noticed several Fort Myers Police Department cars parked out front. We weren't sure if they were there for us. 9990? What are you guys doing? I'm going to answer questions. Okay, give me a second. Get away from my car. We're in a public easement right now. Right? Let's call the announcer. Remember this guy for later, Fort Myers Police Department, vehicle 9990, Mike Perry, unknown ID. Not Platinum Mike Perry from the UFC, the officer, Mike Perry. Really? I think there's a noise ordinance actually for that. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a violation of the noise ordinance. These sirens produce an average of 110 decibels at a range of up to 10 feet and an average up to 65 decibels at 500 feet. I can still see him, man. Let's, so let's see how good his lighting's working right now. He was on the free download, Windows 7. Not only is this officer in violation of the county ordinance, but also in violation of Florida Statute 316.271. And this is one of the things that I like about this channel. He actually puts law and he does his research out there for you guys. Check this out. Still got him. Perfect view. <laughs> <laughs> Still got him. 
fucking film, he goes, no, don't start with that shit. Oh, that's shit to him? Yeah, it's shit to him. Yeah, it's, it's nonsense. Just, like, make sure you feed him. Be bloody. You okay, oh, man? Is back there? You okay, man? Is there a city noise ordinance that that just violated? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the window was down. The guy was going to talk to me. Yeah. They're just going to pull over here. We can all we can walk literally all the way around here and around the other side. It's all open to the public. Right there, huh? And so both he, those what he doesn't there. realize is, is Dude, loud that's only happy. one yes. way. You can't come out they, any other way. They really like you. <laughs> I will admit... I oh, no. He's the talking. There's, a, there's another... There's a... Unmarked over here with no, no lights on. He's been watching us. He was parked in front of a fire hydrant. Yeah, he was blocking a fire hydrant. How were you blocking that fire hydrant, sir? <laughs> are you the, are you the sergeant? No. No? Oh, she said she was getting a sergeant, so I figured maybe it was you. Huh? Yeah, well, no, we asked for a sergeant. And she said she was going to go get a sergeant down here. Are you with these guys? Yeah. Why are you dressed like you're an LCSO employee? Uh, I'm not dressed like I'm an LCSO well, employee. Are. No, I'm not. You very much look like one. Does that say LCSO on the back? No, very, very deceiving. Well, I mean, you can interpret it that way, but no. unless there's a Florida statute that says I'm not allowed to wear it, no, then... you're very, very deceiving. I'm not trying to deceive anyone. I'm wearing this because this is what I feel comfortable wearing. Hey, 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 this guy's trying to say I'm impersonating Elio. Oh. S sir. Are, are you trying to say that I'm impersonating Elio? Can you do me a favor? Can you go inside because I need to get the selling point? Okay, well, you, can't, you, you came and... I, listen, I, I thought you were an employee from LCSO, to be honest. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry you okay, perceived that. You can't arrest him. I, I'm not. I literally. They can escort you in. Well, you go inside. They're asking you to go inside. I can arrest you. You know that. It's a safety issue. Go inside. Make me. Go inside. Make me. Go inside. Josh, he says it's a safety issue. He says we have to get inside. He's going to arrest us. Normally, I would have challenged this as his claims were baseless. However, due to the courts being closed down, I did not want to wait in jail, potentially up to 33 days before I could go in front of a judge to present my defense and post bond, as I've stated before on this channel countless times. I'm not anti-law enforcement, but I will not stand for law enforcement attempting to arrest or enforce baseless charges against anyone who has conducted themselves in a lawful manner, regardless if it is perceived as annoying, immature, unprofessional, etc. Their job as law enforcement officer is to provide exceptional service in the most professional manner possible and enforce the laws as they are written. This is a prime example of the portion of law enforcement officers that I do not support. As we were leaving the facility, he made himself present to us again. No, it's a oh, wait, hey, if this is 9990, it's him. Yeah, I, I love that. I love that speed limit, ten miles an hour, and he's flying through here. Yeah, hey, fuck you. Hey, why don't you arrest me? Yep. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Did you know that there's a noise ordinance? Did you know there's a noise ordinance? Piece of shit. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't. We we don't care if we if we. Oh, activated a siren while there's no call. Wow. Nice. Here we go.